Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all. I'm your host, Tech Fromies. I'll be from techfromiesmedia.com. And today I'll be doing the top tech of 2013. Now, this only will be the best tablets, mobile devices, and computers as well. So, it's let's get started. So, let's start off with the HTC One. The HTC One was one of HTC's flagship devices of the year 2013. This device comes equipped with a 4.7 inch LCD 2 display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. It also has Android 4.2 right now, getting ready to be upgraded to Android 4.3. It already have Android 4.4 if you do have the Google Play Edition. It has a 4 ultra pixel camera. It has a 1.7 gigahertz quad core snapdragon 600 cpu now that's some good specs if you ask me very well spec and it has this carbonate aluminum body that people seem to have liked and why it probably is so popular and it's kind of unique from other devices on the market it has that nice aluminum cover body that really makes this thing thinking, okay, it's going to be sturdy a little bit, and it's going to have a nice feel in the hand. So that's the reason a lot of people bought this phone on the market when it first came out, and that's the reason why it's one of the best-selling smartphones of 2013. It made the list because it was very popular this year, has some great specifications, and you'll really get what you're paying for. Our second device is the Samsung Galaxy S4. The Samsung Galaxy S4 is Samsung's flagship device. When they kind of moved up from their old Galaxy de designs, whenever they used to put them on AT&T, T-Mobile, and Sprint, the Galaxy S4 was Samsung's flagship device, and it comes equipped with a 5-inch Super AMOLED HD display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. It also has a 13-megapixel camera that does 1080p HD video recording. Wow, it's a great camera. It also does have a 1.9 GHz quad-core CPU, 1.6 GHz quad-core, and 1.3 GHz dual-core. So it's a octa-core. CPU, which makes it one of the most outstanding devices on this market. It's also going to have Android 4.3 right now at the time of this video. So it's pretty good software, has some good processor specs, so it's really going to be good for gaming. Or if you're somebody that doesn't like any lag on your device, there's going to be something very nice for you for the holidays and even to get next year if you still want to purchase a device that I mentioned in this video. It was Samsung's flagship for the year of 2013 with the Galaxy S lineup. It really made a big change with the new material, the new design they put on it, and kind of the new innovative experience that they had actually made for this Samsung Galaxy device. The third device here is the Nokia Lumia 1020. The Nokia Lumia 1020 was a phone that had some mid-range specs but improved in its camera. Now, as you know, the Nokia, Nokia Lumia 800 lineup, the Nokia Lumia lineup always had some of the best cameras out there. 8 megapixels and above was always Nokia's main point for their cameras. This phone has a 41 megapixel sensor, which makes it one of the best devices out there right now. 41 megapixels really rocks it out. For a person who would like to take 10 p video, mm -hmm. take some best pictures, and basically improve on their photos instead of buying a DSLR. This one shoots pretty good quality video, and it takes extraordinary pictures. I mean, if you've seen some of these pictures, you would probably be astounded. It really captures all the colors, and basically that's why... You know, it's one of the best smartphones in 2013 because it really made a change in people's life who use phones for cameras and really it's one of the best camera phones out there on the market. Right? Our next device is the Nexus 5. The Nexus 5 made a great change in many people's lives for basically the Nexus lineup. The Samsung Galaxy Nexus was one of the first updated Android software components of the Nexus lineup. It was created by Samsung, then it moved on from Samsung Galaxy Nexus to the Nexus 4 because it all started at the HTC Nexus 1. Now, the Nexus 5 is basically the new device that almost looks like a tablet because it has a 5.2 inch display, but 
it would almost look like a phone to you too. The Nexus 5 looks no different from the Nexus 4, it's just that it has a different type of battery. It comes with stock Android software, has a 13 megapixel camera on the back, Android 4.4 KitKat is always up to date with its latest software, and you're also going to find on here a 5.2 inch LCD display, 1080p display, it looks really good, takes okay pictures, and it really made the top devices because I really do think that it was nice. And you know, it kind of has some improved features from the previous Nexus, and it brought a better feel to most people who use the experience of a Nexus device for its stock Android experience. So I think that it made a lot of different changes in people's lives till today, and it made the top leaderboard in terms of my opinion. And lastly, on our phone category, we have the iPhone 5S. The iPhone 5S is Apple's flagship at this time right now. The iPhone 5S comes with a built-in fingerprint sensor, and it can actually track your fingerprint and help unlock your phone and make purchases through it. It has a 4-inch retina display, improved 8-megapixel eyesight camera. It also is going to have a 1.2 GHz dual-core Apple A5 CPU, iOS 7 right out of the box when you see it, and it's also going to come with a bunch more specs that I can't describe right now, but you can check them out on Apple's website. I was talking about the iPhone 5 and I actually have a first impression video will be the first link down below that like button, so please thumbs it up. And it's a really nice device. I really do think that Apple could have improved a little bit on this device, maybe updated the screen a little bit more, but I think they're trying to stay away from the phablet market. So basically, Apple created this device to continue their lineup of iPhones that was started back in 2007, if you remember the iPhone first generation. This iPhone really made a big difference to some people because it had a fingerprint sensor that could actually track your fingerprint and it could help unlock your phone to make purchases. And I really do think that a lot of people like that. And Apple made an, internet, Apple made an innovative experience um, research survey, you know, they saw what people wanted and thought about doing this just to try out to see what people would like in a device, and it turned out to work. So, basically, for this fingerprint sensor, all the new specifications that come with this iPhone 5S, I really do think that with this design, the new fingerprint sensor, everything combined together, it really makes one of the best smartphones of 2013, and it goes on the list. Anyways, guys, go watch part two and three of this video. It's the top tech of 2013. Uh, go watch part two and three. I'll have those recorded and up in the next couple of days. But that's all I got for you today, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Deuces.